Hi, I'm Shane with eCharter.com. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install Roadmaster's Diode Wiring Kit on your 2019 Ford F-150. Diode Kit is going to be one of your main components or one of your five main components flat towing your vehicle behind your motorhome. The other four are going to be your base plate, your tow bar, your safety cables, and your braking system. Adding wiring like this in your vehicle is going to allow your motorhome to transfer light signals to the back of your vehicle while it's being flat towed. It's not only legal, but you're safe. Everybody can see what you're doing, whether it's driving at night, turning, or braking. There's gonna be a few different kinds of setups you can get. You can get magnetic lights. Um, you can get bulb and socket lights. I always recommend going with a diode kit. Uh, it's a much cleaner look. Look, the magnetic lights, they're nice. They're easy to put on, but you're gonna have wires that hang over top of the vehicle and you're gonna to have to find somewhere to store them when you're not using them. Bulb and socket will be kind of hard to put in on these lights because the housing that's behind here has to have a hole drilled in it in the back side, and there's not a whole lot of room in there. So in my opinion, diode wiring is gonna be the way to go. The diodes are gonna mount directly to factory wiring behind each tail light, and they're designed to protect your factory wiring from any back feed from the motorhome uh, so it doesn't affect the wiring on the truck. It's also going to be a much cleaner look. Once you have them installed, you're just going to plug your wiring from your motorhome into the front of your vehicle and you're set up. It's also not going to affect the normal use of the vehicle when the vehicle is not being flat towed. For this particular install, we installed Roadmaster's six pole plug. There are different kits uh, that come with a four pole plug. They may not come with any plug at all. Maybe you're just adding diode wiring on a vehicle that may already have a plug on it or that Previously had a, a plug installed on it. Um, it's really gonna depend on your setup. Again, we put a six pole plug on. This is gonna allow you to get those lights, uh, get those signals back to your tail lights. It's gonna have two extra pins. One, if you're installing a braking system, one's gonna be for a charge line that you just run up to the battery. And if you're using this type of plug on a trailer, uh, it's gonna have another pin. Maybe you wanna put a brake controller in your truck and use this plug on the trailer to get uh, that brake signal back to the brakes on that trailer. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let me walk you through how to get it installed. So our installation, we need to remove both tail lights. Both tail lights are gonna come out the same. We're gonna use an eight millimeter socket, open your tailgate, you're gonna have two bolts. Take a trim panel tool. We're gonna come right back on this back edge and slide back. and we'll unplug our light. Push down this gray tab and pull out. Now, testing, we determined that this blue wire with the gray stripe is gonna be our running light signal. This blue wire right next to it with the gray stripe, I'm sorry, with the green stripe is gonna be our turn signal. We're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. It's a good idea to have a notepad, write down the colors of the wires. On the passenger side, your green with the orange stripe is gonna be your brake and turn, and your blue wire is gonna be your running light signal. We're gonna start on our passenger side, and then go over to our driver's side, and then up to the front of the vehicle, because the bracket is mounted on the driver's side of the license plate. So we'll cut our wire. We're gonna strip back both ends. I'm gonna kind of double these over because the wires are pretty thin. Take two female spade connectors on one of your diodes and crimp it onto each end of the wire. Go ahead and put your diode back in place. Single side goes out towards the plug. That has just reconnected your circuit for your light. We're gonna take our bundle of wire. I'm gonna bring it right up through the hole in the bottom. Like Strip back our green wire. 
add on the other spade connector. That will connect right there. We're going to split our yellow wire off and feed it back down. I've separated my wires about six foot because we're going to have to run the yellow, brown, and white wire over to the driver's side. Before we do that, we need to connect our brown wire over here. Now we'll cut our blue wire. Repeat the same process and add our brown wire onto it. Then we're going to take our two diodes. They're going to have sticky tape on them. We're going to stick them together. Then I'm going to run a zip tie around them. And I think what I'm going to do, I won't be able to put them back here. I can't put them here. So I think I'm going to zip tie them right to this wiring and then we'll plug our light back in. I ran all my wires from my right tail light over, over to my left tail light. Um, I just ran them up above the spare tire, tying them to some factory wiring. Your brown wire, what you're going to do is you're going to pull it up, split it in half, tie the two ends together. You're going to add the yellow spade connector onto your diode along with the wire going to your running light, again, which is gonna be your blue wire with the gray stripe or light blue stripe. And then your yellow wire, you're gonna cut it to size. Again, add it on to your diode. It's gonna be the green wire or the blue wire with the green stripe. And then we'll just repeat what we did on the other side. Stick the two together. the time just like that and then we'll put our light back in. Now we're going to take all of our wire except for the loose white one and run it up to the front of the vehicle. Let me get it done real quick and I'll show you how I did it. What I did with my white wire is I ground it right to this factory ground. You want to make sure you don't ground it to the bed because the bed is aluminum and it's not going to be a good ground. The rest of my wires I actually ran them right into the frame rail all the way up to the front of the vehicle. If you have an airline tube, airline tube works pretty good. Um, if you have maybe a wire hanger, the whole side of this frame rail has holes in it so you can just feed it from one to the other as you work it up to the front. So right here where I came out on the inside, ran my wire through a little slot here, out through my bracket. If you don't have a bracket, you're gonna need to mount one this one was already mounted on the vehicle, so I just, I'm just going to utilize the same one. You're going to take your wires, put your boot on first, skinny side on, and then you'll connect your plug. The back of the plug is going to be marked. Brown's going to be running lights, TM. White's going to be ground. Yellow is going to be left turn, LT. Green's going to be right turn, RT. Now we get a lot of questions of why we're putting a six pole plug on when we're only putting four wires on. Well, the other two slots, the center one, if you are installing a braking system and you have, you're putting on a battery charge line, which I always recommend, it would go in the center slot there. If you're using this six pole plug, like maybe on a trailer, that second one or that second open one is gonna be for your brakes on your trailer to run a brake line from your brake controller. Once we get our wires connected, we can install the hardware that comes in the kit or comes with your bracket. Once you have your plug installed, you have your hardware in. Uh, I just like to add a little touch and I took a black paint marker and painted the bolts the same color or black. Kind of helps match the truck a little bit. Uh, you can go ahead and test it out, make sure everything's working correctly and you're ready to go. Now we're going to test out our wiring using an alternate power source. This is going to simulate being hooked up to your RV. Tail lights, left turn, brake lights, right turn. That's going to do it for a look at and installation on the Roadmaster 
diode wiring kit on your 2019 Ford F-150.